What's up, YouTube? Alright. Uh, we're probably going to do some V2 farming in a second, but for now, I just wanted to talk about a subject that this guy was talking to me about. And it's about mathematics, owning Ghost Castle forever, and it's pissing him off. I just want to explain something. It's a good thing. It's a very good thing that go that mathematics owns Ghost Castle. For instance, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, when they upped Ghost Castle, they added all this new loot. Um, like G12 mats can now drop there. They can just farm there and get billions and billions of gold every day. Just a ridiculous amount. What I'm doing is nothing compared to what they can get in a day in Ghost Castle. Um, that being said, Ghost Castle is supposed to be like that. It is supposed to be end game fucking awesome. And as I've said a couple times already, castle it's supposed to be a fucking castle so as i was telling this guy he was like eventually i was telling him eventually we're gonna you know people are gonna look at us as gods like right now season two it's new there's not a lot of players by the end of season three hopefully the last season we're gonna have a whole lot of players come in here and all of a sudden those new players are going to look at us. We already know where we're at. We already know the new armor. We're already farmed up. We got billions of gold. We got 20,000 TC. They're going to look at us like, Jesus, I wish I was like you. So we're going to be those gods, but we're not going to take Ghost Castle yet. Uh, mathematics will probably still have it. Maybe you can hope to be an ally of mathematics or something. <laughs> uh, or maybe one day you can hope to be in mathematics. But for now, mathematics is what we I call, like to call Rome. Uh, it Ghost Castle was isn't supposed to be something you could just go in and farm. All of us are like little Gallic soldiers. We wanna we wanna look at that castle and says, man, it'd be nice if I could just one man that and just look at all that riches and I'll be rich as hell. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Uh, when this was only dropping red honors and blue tears, I was literally making videos where I could just walk straight into Ghost Castle, kill the wall, kill the king, farm for six hours, leave, come back three hours later go back in because I still fucking had it and go farm it again for six more hours that's not even a castle that's like AFK farming I might as well go farm on tri server at that point shit so I mean yeah it was fun to get the red honors and blue tears but it was like it feels kind of dead I never like the few times mathematics would come in there and kill me they'd kill me once and then they would leave because they were bored they didn't want to just sit there for fucking hours and get one pk no so it was boring um to say the least they added loot to it and now they're always there it, it's just a 24-hour farm all the time um and that's a good thing again it, it's supposed to be something like hard to get a castle and we've strayed away from that we've strayed away from thinking that this is supposed to be hard and we're like and so many people are bitching that mathematics has it and this game's never going to be fun like there's there, there's only one thing to do in this whole game ghost castle no yeah it's the best but yeah rome was the best <laughs> you gallic soldier starving in his or fuck anybody else starving in their home wishing they could have the riches and then they see these romans come in full armored legion coming in there with each one has a satchel of his own food I mean, shit, what the hell's going on? It was it was annoying just to look at the soldiers, I'm sure. And it's the same case here. It gives you that feeling like, you know, the only, the only way to take Ghost Castle right now is to literally get, like, 15 players and invade it. And odds are you might not even get it because four good mathematics members leave, go get the right jewelry on, and come back. Yeah, you could kill the king in that time, but when they're back, you're done. And then when the king respawns, it's back to theirs again. You're not going to kill anything. They're going to guard the walls, and you'll be dead the second you come in here, no matter how many you bring in. Um, but what if you brought in enough, and you could clear them and sit next to the crystal and have four men just waiting at the walls? Uh, you could possibly take it for a few hours. It would take a lot of fight. You would keep fighting and fighting and fighting to keep the castle. And then you'd have to fight hours and hours a day just to keep that castle, just like you would any other tribe. 
And then if you actually beat out mathematics, you are the new Rome. And you get to farm those riches. Of course, mathematics is going to be your top enemy. Let's say the Gallic soldiers took Rome. Good thing and grand and dandy, but all of their allies and all of what what is left of Rome is going to come back. You still got to fight that. <laughs> so you still have them, the old Rome, to fight. Uh, and you'll have you'll you know you'll eventually get into Ghost Castle maybe. Or what's better to say is, in six months when there's twenty mathematics tribes in there and four of their allies and they're just either guarding and farming and we come in there with two different tribes two different allies 50 troops and just take that fucker and then there's just troops everywhere killing as much as we can while we can take it all day and piss them off to the point where they just say fuck it and they leave for a few hours and we got it for a while and then we just keep that up for like a couple weeks and it's ours for a while never know you know, there's a lot of aspects to it that you're not thinking of. Yeah. All right. All that being said, this game is shaping up a hell of a lot better than the last people that had it did it. Like, they are, they're coming out with these updates. They're bringing out all this new content. Uh, I hear Season 3 is supposed to be bringing us um, a new set of gear, maybe. Uh, they keep saying things about V4, so a new dungeon. Uh, I th what I think my my belief on why they're doing what they're doing with the seasons and i don't like seasons as much until you think about it this way there's if it, what i believe is season three is going to be the last season after that they're just going to come up with broad updates only reason i think that is um after season three if you participated in the seasons you should have three good characters all right after season three with v4 a new set of gear uh that new set let's say they do come up with a new set and you get it up to like 15 13 right i guarantee that's going to be better than the 10 9 sets that are over there in try so if you got like a nice 2000 or hell 20,000 tc armor set in a season and you can easily get 20,000 tc during a season it just takes effort all season but you bring 20,000 raw TC over to a uh, tri server after season three or 40,000 or 50,000 because let's say you did it throughout all three seasons you get yourself not 10 10 set or 10 9 set like everybody else has you get the new set the G13 or whatever they have that with as much upgrades as possible say offering 10,000 TC for a, a chest plate see what I can get you know, and just do that with all your gear. Spend out all your TC, and now you can go fight up with the, the badass of the most badass. Because you're almost there at the same level of gear from your seasonal farming. And you still have your three seasonal characters. What I believe the seasons are doing is they're basically trying to get it to where, right now, if you made a new character, there's no way in hell you could touch anything PvP related. Uh, that number one. Number two, most places PvE related, they just have somebody there just fucking you up for fun. Because they've got a 10-9 set and they can one-shot anyone. Especially new players. They'll just be one-shot with an ice flower from a blue mage that doesn't even have the right fucking staff on. <laughs> uh, it's, it's completely unfair. You can't really play on that game. But, after Season 3, with a whole new set of gear... It's not only possible, but it's plausible. Like, you're like, I could do that. Like, not even that bad, not that hard. Like, just level up to 300. It, I mean, realistically, if you want to take Ghost Castle, don't try to do it with a level 240 or 210. So level to 300, and in the time it takes to you to get to level 300, you'll make enough money and enough whatever to get a decent set of gear, and that decent set of gear will be close to 10-9 set or a 9-9 set, and the new players, the highest end players, will be using the new gear. But realistically, their gear is only going to be a few points on each set, each item, higher than yours. Uh, if you got a decent set. So they're going to be slightly better. But you just got to catch them off guard, get the nice combo going, maybe bring a friend that can do a combo with you. Like, as soon as I touch this, 
you do this, this, and this, and then I do that, and it's all going to hit him at the exact same time, and we're going to flatten this guy and go right to this guy. It actually takes the planning. Uh, I used to ha I used to do that with a few people. Uh, me and my a few buddies uh, back on the old turf battles would take Ghost Castle by. We knew the six people that were on the island at the time, the castle. And we'd be like, all right, target the blue mage first because he's debuffing. Then tar target the two red mages. And then we're going to target the blade, the fist, and then go back to the red mages as they come through the crystal. We're going to ignore the archer and the uh, the second blue mage. And it was this whole tactic we had. And it was like the way we did it is uh, this one guy would fire an ice flower with his blue mage. Follow it up in like immediately with a debuff and then a meteor and then his, uh, I can't remember what it's called, the ice fury. And then, but as soon as we saw the meteor, we were supposed to hit with our fury, whoever you were, if it was a blade, use your uh, blade fury, whatever the hell it is. All at the same time, as soon as we saw him hit the meteor, and then it would just flatten them. We would hit level 300 guys with like 9-9 sets, and they would literally just delete. Even if we only did like 400 damage, you're talking six players, all hitting our furies, all at the same time, flatten him. And then... As soon as it was ready, we all had ours ready similar times. We had the tar we targeted for the next guy. We already had the pattern. Like, we got to go this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. And it was every four seconds, one guy would just delete. And they didn't know which one it was. And we would change it up. Because as soon as they learned the pattern that this guy knew he was going to go next, he would back up or something. And then he'd see that we had chased him. So we're like, all right, this time it's go the reverse. The exact same thing, but reverse. And all of a sudden, they see the meteor, and it's like, fuck. That's not the right one. And then he would just go one shot. And then the next guy would go one shot four seconds later. Four seconds later, the next guy would one shot. And they don't know which one we're one shotting. And it was six players doing six different Furies at once. You could take Mathematics Tribe doing that now. But you, the problem is, is coordination. We don't even have that many players to really coordinate that many times too, too often. Because realistically, they're going to bring eight players, and we're going to have to raise our numbers, and we're going to have to coordinate that whole thing. and get it, It's just, we don't have the player base yet. We'll get there. <laughs> all right, so let's do a little V2, just so it's not all about talking. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, anyways, just making sure we brought everything here. We got our VT scrolls. We got some drop scrolls. We're going to buy a few pouches. Let's just start with nine, so we have an even ten. And gotta text enemy real quick. I buy a lot of my pouches from them. I've had a lot of problems with them before, and a lot of people have a lot of problems with enemy. But what is Rome without a few arrogant assholes? <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's you got people that are just doing insane amounts of damage and getting insane amounts of money every day. Of course, they're going to be arrogant after a while. Like, whatever you're doing is nothing compared to what they do on a daily basis. So, everything you do is a joke to them. <laughs> you're like, oh, you just hit me with Fire Fury. Nice. That did about 5% of my health. I think I might take a potion in a minute. <laughs> And meanwhile, you're hitting them and not doing shit to them. I mean, it's just... You gotta remember, this isn't... Ghost Castle isn't supposed to be easy to get. And it's good that it's not. Uh, the biggest tribe in the game isn't supposed to be something that's easy to kill. They're supposed to be the best tribe in the game. And that that's supposed to actually hold weight. Like, have a meaning. Uh... Three weeks ago, when Ghost Castle was just dropping Blue Tears and Red Haunters, there was no meaning to their tribe. Or any top tribe. Yeah, they PvP'd, but there was no population to really PvP and give a shit. So they were just in the dungeons and it's soccer. But now that they're sitting in Ghost Castle all the time, it literally creates a castle. It's not just the walls now, or the king. If you want to go in there, you have to fight the Roman Legion then kill the king then farm the castle and defend the castle as your own and then you know one day someone's going to come in and try to take down the wall kill the king or kill the legion and kill the king again 
but remember, this has to be a castle, and with the castle, you can't just have four walls. I don't want a castle with four walls. I want a castle with four walls and a fucking army. I don't want anyone to fuck with me. Or kill my family. <laughs> this is my castle, you know? And too many people think of it as just another farming spot like V2 or V3. It's not. Although, V2 is nice. And I get a lot of pouches from the Mathematics Tribe for 10 mil a pop, so I get them pretty cheap, which allows me to do this all I want and just make money. Alright, let me just pop open a pouch and break some shit. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. I forgot I'm in a video. <laughs> Stop talking for a minute. Uh, I was reading this guy. This guy was saying that uh, I got him into turf battles, apparently. Uh, so he's like the 10th person now. Like, I love that. Like, so many people have PM me saying that, hey, I joined because of your videos. Um, or I'm watching your videos. Or uh, your videos got me to farm so much better. Things like that. It's like, yeah, I know I'm not doing the best, but. At the same time, there is nothing like my videos out right now. Nobody's doing PvE videos anymore. Nobody gives a shit anymore. And I want to change that. I really do. I think I think this game deserves a hell of a lot more credit than it actually has. It's the one game I've ever been to where you can you actually farm a castle. You own a fucking castle if you're the best tribe in the game. That drops a shit ton of loot. <laughs> I mean, it's like a tax uh, taxable castle. Uh like Voyage Sentry, except with a hell of a lot less stress and work. Because, yeah, you can own a castle in that game, too, but fuck that. <laughs> but you get billions for it. Um, now, in this game, it's it, it, there is no other game where you can just take over an island or take over a castle and really mean something. And when we have these super tribes that are taking over the castle and creating the ghost castle... It's just a farming spot until someone takes it, and now it's a castle. And right now, we've got Ghost Castle, and we've got Islands. And Islands are a little easier to take because Mathematics are are on the island, are in the castle instead of the islands now. But they're still spending so much time on the islands. <laughs> no matter what, it's hard to take, but I don't know. To me, there's nothing like this game out there. It's really cool that it actually has a castle in this game. And that means something. That now that now that there's that new loot's here, I'm ecstatic about it. I know I don't get to enjoy it. I don't really give a shit. I'm just glad every time I go to Ghost Castle, there are people defending it, <laughs> and I get one shot. Like you don't under, like I don't know if you understand if you if you get that that this that's a really good thing. That makes me feel like this game is actually gonna live. Because that's my biggest fear about this game, is that it's going to shut down just like the last one. And I don't want that to happen. It's going to suck, man. This is my shit. I've played a lot of games, a lot of fucking games that, like, I think I've played, like, every MMORPG out there. And nothing comes close to this game. I mean, seriously. For just the fact of what the PvP gives you, um what you can take over the loot system just every part about this game is better than its counterpart <laughs> I mean, there's nothing else that i could find like i've literally searched everywhere i, I miss this game so much because i played it when i was a kid and i was like man if just this game would come back out i'd be so so fucking set 
I would have my game back. I'd be able to get addicted to an MMORPG again. It's been years. I was just, I was looking forward to the next addiction. And I played EverQuest 2 for years. I used to make money out of it. Not much. Um, now, Star Wars Galaxies, we, my family and I, we made like 2000 a month playing that game. <laughs> uh, same with Night Online. Uh, those were really cool games back in the day. But I always remembered Turf Battles. Turf Battles was my shit. And when it shut down, I was there for the shutdown. I was, like, not crying, but I was mad. There was all these bosses spawning, and we were having fun, kind of. I mean, it wasn't fun. It sucked. But then all of a sudden, like, a few years ago, I saw that this kind of game was coming out, and I thought it was a private server. So I played on Try for a little bit, but I was like, nah, I'm not going to play for a wipe. I don't want to see another wipe again. And then I come back a little while ago when I first started these videos and things, and I realized that this is not a private server. And I'm like, there's no fucking way. This is out, out, like it's back? And now that I've been here for a month and a half, I believe it's going to stay. And we've got turf battles back, and we're going to bring it back to what it used to be. It's just going to take time, but we're going to be there for that. And by the time that time is taken... Anybody that's here listening to me right now, like this week, and still is playing by the time this game hits, we're going to be the gods. We're going to be the ones that were here in the beginning, or close to the beginning, the veterans. Uh, in two, three years when this game is like popular as hell, and people are still playing it, there's hundreds and hundreds of videos out, and it's back to where it should be. And people might say, oh, well, it's been out for a few years and it hasn't done yet. I came back a few times thinking it was a private server and there was always population here. People just have to understand this is here. And as soon as we get to a certain stable population, just a little bit more than we've had, people are going to just see it as a, a home and just stay. Two, three, four, five, six. Fuck you. I've had shit luck on these Aren't weapons today. I just got here. I just started. Still, I hate going through my first pouch and not getting anything. I like to get lucky and get a plus eight right away. <laughs> it's just fun and it makes my whole time enjoyable. But either way, um, I'm actually waiting on. I've got roughly two, almost two billion uh, Lenny right now. And I'm trying to buy 200 pouches for 2 billion, get them at uh, 10 mil each, uh, from Mathematics. Which is why, again, I don't mind Mathematics owning it, because I know a few Mathematics members. And maybe I can get uh, pouches really cheap from them. And so far, I've gotten like 4 or 5 members selling me their pouches for like 10 to 11 mil a pouch. And you already know that we make a lot of money on Blue Tears and Red Honors. Both of them make me a ton of money, uh, except Red Honors. I'm thinking to stop do stop trying to do plus eights because I've broken far too many, and I'm really thinking of stopping plus nine weapons. But they're just so fucking addicting. As soon as you make a plus nine, you're like, ah, I've got to do that again, <laughs> and you just break fifteen plus eights. And you're like, son of a bitch, I'm never doing that again. After this one, just one more. All right, now that I've got 20 plus eights, fuck it. You know, and that you just keep making those excuses like, you might as well, might as well, might as well. And realistically, you're going to try. I'm just like, I will try plus eights if I end up having 30 plus sevens. Because I'm, I'm not going to sell 30 plus sevens. It'll take forever. Although I could post up a stall every night with my second character and post them all for 30 mil and sell them quick. But at the same time, 30 mil... I sell plus eights for like 70 TC, and to me, that's worth 210 mil. Ah, so I'm always like, fuck it. Because if I make, if I fail on seven of them, even if I fail on one out of every 15, it still makes me money. It just sucks. I hate breaking that many things. Two, three, four, five, six. Fuck you both. At least we got the fucking Supreme. Hoping to get a plus eight here, man. It would be nice. 
with Jon Snow. He's like, I hate mathematics. You just got to watch my video, man, and understand that mathematics is Rome. And we have to fight Rome. I'm sorry. <laughs> you, 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 just, you can't just hate Rome for being better than you. They're Rome. <laughs> they got there. You didn't. Sorry. You'll have to make your way there. Alright, gimme, gimme, gimme. What I get? Nothing? You're an asshole. I'm aware that I am an asshole. I really don't care about all of that, though. Alright. This bitch comes out of nowhere, and the closer you are to her, the faster she hits you. And it's just like, bam, 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 bam. You're like, what the fuck? And if you're a new player, it just fucks you up all of a sudden. I hated her. Like, I could not stand this room when I was a lower level just because it was, like, instant death. That bitch was there, I'm done. Because it's just too many hits. And then if as you charge in, you're just like, bang, 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 bang. And she just starts slaughtering you. And then it, your potions just go away. And then I realized, like, somebody was yelling, asking me the other day. He's like, he's like how do you farm there for three hours? I'm just, I don't have the gear for that. And I'm like, I did that before I had the gear, too. And he's like, what do you mean? I'm like, I did it before I had your gear. Uh, you just, it sucks, but you just gotta stock up on Marv Pots. You gotta realize you're making a decent amount of money out here. There's no reason you can't spend a little bit more on your potions. Just get Marv Pots. Or if you're a Blade class or Fist class, get the, whatchamacallits, these things. Um, I think it's Hard Potions. Yeah, get those. Or Might Potions. One of those two give you HP. I forget which one it was. That's why I bought 300 of each. I really wish I would have just bought 300 of the HP ones, but I was too lazy to go look it up. Anyways, <laughs> so uh, I buy these, and they're totally worth it. Yeah, you pay, like, more than double what the mini Marvs are in the store, but who gives a shit? You can literally bring a pack of 100 packs of 100. Like, you never have to leave until you're just done or out of space. Like, I've just stuck out here till I got, like, 8 plus 8s. I just couldn't fit any more in my inventory, and every time I opened a blue tier pouch, it would just drop 45 of them on the floor and keep me with 5. And then I would throw those 5 into a weapon, pick up five, 3 more, break the weapon, pick up 8, 10 more, break the next one. It was just, it got redundant, so I stopped the video. And But yeah, just buy Marv potions. Alright. I cleaned it. Yeah, I'm just talking to my girlfriend. Sorry. Giggity! I was looking at, I was setting up my channel earlier and I was, uh, I, pl I put up all these playlists. I stayed up late last night when I shouldn't have because I needed to wake up early. But, I was able to set it all in playlists and all that and it just made it easier so you can literally click like, the good, uh, good loot videos, and I put those under those play. The good, any of the good loot videos under that playlist, and then V2, V3, Ghost Castle. You know, you can actually just click them, so that made it a whole lot easier to see my videos. And it was able to organize them, and it looks a lot more, be a lot better now. So we're gonna eventually have this awesome channel, and for this awesome new game when it comes back and everybody joins. Yeah, the dream is real, man. The dream is so real. It's like inside you. You know what else is inside you? Your guts. Oh, give me that gauntlet. Give me that gauntlet. Give me that cog. Give me that what? Give me that but I don't know what that song was. Plus seven. Come on. Give me some plus sevens. What? Fuck you. One, two, three, four, five. Seven. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you're a dick. One, two, three, four, five. Fuck you. Well, we got two plus sevens there. Let's see if we can get more. Plus, we got an Ultima staff here and a fab stick. Let's see if we can get them before they fucking disappear. Die, you sons of bitches. 
Gimme. Gimme. Gimme the copper. Yeah. Look at how rich we're getting. Oh, we got a nickel there. We gotta get the nickel. And the pet's gonna die if we don't feed it. There we go. Who's a good puppy? Yeah, I got a good dog. His name's Giggity. So, uh, also happens to be the same name as my cat. <laughs> Giggity! Another gauntlet. What are we gonna get? Are we gonna get a plus seven again? I hope so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, you fucking dick. One, two, three, four, four, five, six. You're a dick too. One, two, three, four, five, five. We will kill you, and then we will go back to leveling that to plus seven. Plus seven. Fuck you. Alright. Mystic Bow, you are mine. And it does not look like anything else here is mine. All of this looks like crap. Yeah, it's all crap. Alright. Come on, Mystic Bow. Do me the honors of being plus seven. Thank you. Alright. These motherfuckers are going to give me one weapon. Each. We got one. Well, I was right about one of them. <laughs> Alright, give me that copper, bitch. Thank you. I don't see what's that. That's cashew. I don't want cashew. Well, in real life, I want some cashews. That sounds good, but... In this game, cashews aren't worth anything and you can't eat them. So, fuck that. I'm good. No, well, I think cashews are worth like 300k each, but nobody buys them ever. I ended up posting them for like 75,000 for like a week and a half, and they finally sold. And that took literally a week and a half to sell. They sold like one and five and four at a time. Like, it was stupid. They are worthless. I'm sure they're probably worth like 10k each. I don't know why though, because they're not that easy to farm. But whatever. Everything has their value. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Fuck you, both of you. Alright. You think I'm gonna get a weapon here? It doesn't look like it. I don't see a single weapon there. Man. I guess we're gonna have to back up and wait for a weapon. It's like we have to wait so long. Normally we do both rooms, but there was that guy over there and he's watching my videos and stuff and I didn't want to just steal his shit. <laughs> I would feel a little bad. Although, if he watches enough of my videos, he knows that I want to go over there and steal his shit. But, I don't know. I kind of want to go check if he's dropping weapons, though, because that would be nice. Just to pick up a few weapons for free. Oh, what the fuck? He's not even there? I'm avoiding a room for no reason, man. Ugh. Motherfuck. Alright, let's go farming back and forth for a minute, then. Because, goddamn... I don't want to throw away all that money. Fab stick, fab stick. Everybody like a fab stick. One, two, three, four, four, five, six. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Alright, we got four plus sevens. You think we get a plus eight here? Ah, uh, not yet. I want to fill up with plus sevens first. I always get better luck when I do that. I don't know why, but... Like yesterday, I broke... 24 sevens in a row. And then I gathered six sevens and I made an eight. Then I gathered six sevens and I made an eight. I'm like, what the fuck? 
That doesn't even make sense. And it, it tends to happen a lot like that. Not like I always get six sevens and I get an eight, but I almost always get all my eights from times I pack up a few sixes. Or a few sevens. Like I'll fill my inventory with sevens or at least get like five or six sevens. And then I try them. Two, three, four, five, six. Six. Thank you. Gives me five sevens. Master is on. Yes, Master. <laughs> I say that because his name is Master, not because I'm referencing a slave owner. But I'm also referencing a slave owner. <laughs> Giggity. Alright, this way, this way, this way. Uh, hello. You can't see up your skirt because it's all black and old. Gross. Old. One. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Cinco. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Fuck you. Alright, we're gonna fill up with weapons right here. And then, we're gonna open a blue tear pouch and try to get all the blue tears used before they disappear. All right, you ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Oh, what a dick. Not a single weapon, but we got a free blue tier. That's what's up. At least we got some. Plus, we got a nickel, y'all you know I mean. A nickel plus a blue tier. That's what's up. If we get any plus eights here, it'll be nice and goes right with my supreme right there. That'd be nice. If we can waste, like, five more pouches here in this run, then, uh... We can say that we made that blue tier supreme in this run and we can add it to our total. And maybe this will end up in our good loot run video playlist as well. But it will be on like at least a couple of the playlists, like the commentary playlist, and it'll also be on the uh, um, V2 playlist. But if we get good loot, if we get a couple plus eights, it'll end up also being on the good loot playlist. That way, if you wanted to see like a bunch of videos that, you know, I did actually do pretty decent on, to see what I did differently or whatever the fuck um, you'll actually be able to click on just the videos that I had good loot on and hopefully this is one of them hopefully all of them from this point forward I always get good loot because I'm always lucky yeah that'll happen <laughs> I don't see oh we got a nickel and a copper there that's always cool three million we rake in in the millions, brother. Alright. I don't want you. You're gonna sit right there. I should just throw those seven blue or six blue tiers into that weapon the next couple weapons just to get rid of them. To make more room. I might be able to do one more weapon then. What are we gonna do? Come on, come on, come on, die! Oh, it's one of those guys that are stuck on the fucking wall and I'm not technically hitting it. Now I'm hitting it. There we go. There we are. Almost. 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 There we are. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. You're a dick. We're gonna go this way. Cause fuck that guy. We wanna make money, man. We don't wanna make no money. <laughs> Six. Let's get these buffs on real quick and then we're going to put mana barrier back on so it doesn't go away. Yeah. Now we're ready. We got our lucky buffs on. Yeah. I feel like we should do the plus eight upgrades before this transform runs out. Before the buffs run out. Fab stick. My fab stick. What about this fab stick? Do you like it? Well, you shouldn't, because it's my fab stick. <laughs> oh shit. She's alive! Soulless bitch. I mean, witch. It's the soulless bitch. Hi, blue tear. Gimme. Thank you. Alright. What do we get? What do we get? We got another fab stick. What is up with these fab sticks today? This is just fabulous. Or fabula. I guess fabula in the uh, plural 
term would be fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. So when we're talking about multiple fab sticks dropping, it'd be fabulous. Fabulous. Yeah. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Not a nickel, not a copper, not a weapon. Not a goddamn thing. Well, since we don't really have room for another weapon, let's do it now. Let's do it. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Fuck you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fuck you. <sighs> Alright, that was sketchy. Let's get these up and let's try these plus eights. Whew. Ah, uh, my nerves are going. We're gonna make a plus eight. I just feel it. Oh, we can't even loot it. Let's sort. We know which one's which. Nope. Nope. Come on. Come on, you bitch. Come on. Fuck you all. To hell. I tried. I really did. But they all broke instead. But hey, we made, uh, what, 35 shards? Huh. <laughs> totally worth our time <sighs> it looks like this will be another fail run I think we're gonna call it right now we're gonna make another run in a little bit and then maybe we'll have a better run you know what I mean but yeah that was fun we got to talk a little bit you know what I mean so see y'all next time on the price is right cause that's what this is <laughs> Alright, see you next time. Have fun. Play Turf Battles now.